Good morning, this is uh, Jesse. Why did I say good morning? Anyway, uh, this is Jesse with Closing the Loop. I am doing a video today on earwigs. Um, earwigs are kind of a big problem uh, where we live. Uh, this year it was particularly bad. Some years are, are worse than others. I don't know exactly why. I've heard that uh, they particularly like it when it's dry. If it's like really dry, it's like really a. It makes the, their environment, their microcosm, uh, their micro environment, like it makes it so that it's a little more conducive for them to be able to raise their young. If it's really wet, it interferes with uh, a lot of things. So, um, so, so really wet, rainy periods, uh, they don't do so well. Which I have, I, f I do feel like I have seen a correlation with that because. Uh, uh, we started off the season, the summer here, really dry, and we didn't get any rain, and it was really kind of scary. Um, and then, and then we had like a solid month and a half, probably maybe even close to two months, where it's just been raining every single day. And um, and I kind of feel like there isn't as much of a problem with uh, with earwigs um, since since that started. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but I have. Um, I don't know if I've come up with this or if I just kind of intuit um, the solution. Um, but what I did with my trees, and I'll I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is um, this is my cherry tree, and you can see all the damage that the earwigs have been doing. Um, this is pretty classic. Uh, very typical earwig damage. Actually, there's an earwig right on it as we speak. Uh, I don't know if you saw that fall out, but there was an earwig on it. So, um, so here's here's my cherry tree. You can you can see that it's doing a lot better on the tops. So ever since I um, devised this method. I feel like I have a much, you know, like a, a, a much better, I'm getting better results. Um, all these leaves are, are fairly healthy. There seems to be a little bit of damage, um, but nothing like the damage that was happening when the plant was first growing. Okay, so I mean, you, you look at all these leaves and I mean, this is, this is only half of it. I took out a lot of the leaves that were really badly damaged. I kept some of the ones that I felt like could possibly still be uh, helpful to the plant to some degree. Um, you know, and, and you can still see damage on the bigger leaves, right? So these are the newer leaves and there's still some damage to it, but certainly not anywhere near as bad as it was. Um, for some reason they've really been attacking this cherry tree, but this cherry tree not so much. This, this, uh, this plant right here. You can see some damage over here. And but overall it seems like they, they didn't really touch this this one that much. Maybe it's a different variety. They don't they don't like as much. But um but anyway, so the solution to the earwig problem, I think one of the reasons um I've been able to kind of slow the rate at which the the earwigs cause damage is because of logs. You take logs and you place them around the base of the tree, and um, and what'll happen is you'll have uh, spiders that will move in, and the spiders will set up house. You also have other predatory insects um, that will kind of house themselves under these logs, and you can actually see where um, where a spider has set up house. Right, you can see all around the base of the cherry plant. Um, there is, there are uh, spider webs. Um, so you have all these spider webs and you even have, you can see insects. I think that's even, I think we might even be looking at the carcass of a, of a, of an earwig that has been eaten by, by the spider. So the whole thing is, uh, earwigs are going to try and climb up. They're going to try and climb up th this way to get to the leaves. And the hope or the idea is that they will have to kind of travail through um, 
the path of a spider and before they're able to get up here they're gonna get they're gonna get devoured they're gonna get caught at the very least which is what you want you want them to get caught and uh, to become a later meal for a spider and, and not devouring your your plants but I feel like that's a, that's a really good permacultural um, uh, solution to to this problem with airwigs and uh, and so I've done that around all the trees I'm gonna do more logs and I'm gonna cut them up a little bit more so here I just threw some logs in here um, and you can actually see this one also has has a spider all set up a spider web I don't know if you're, if you're able to see that I'm doing my best to take video here but there are there's a spider web right there um, let's see if I can see anything on this side yep there's another one right there all right so you place these logs around the base of a tree and uh, most assuredly you're gonna get spiders that will eventually move in it might take a while you might have to be a little patient but this is, you know, this is really a natural method, you know, and it's probably one really great way of controlling. So on this side of the property, we have the dogs, so I can't really set up any kind of um, typical traps, like bait traps, uh, that catch earwigs. So I have to come up with other solutions. On the other side of the fence, I will be able to set up different, um, different kinds of traps that attract... Um, that will attract the earwigs and then um, be able to drown them or kill them in some way. Um, but over here, uh, this is basically all that I have for now. If anybody has any good ideas on how to control earwigs in an area where, where dogs are present, um, you know, permacultural solution, something that doesn't require chemicals or pesticides in any way, um, you know, please, you know, leave your comments below. So my, my point, my hope is to really control the earwigs. I'm not really looking to get rid of them because the earwigs actually play a really important function in breaking down organic material and creating soil and um, you know they, they're, omni they're omnivorous. They, they all go after the dog poop. They smell the, uh, the dog poop and they, they love eating it. So I'm not looking to get rid of them because they really are um, they really are crucial to everything that's going on here. Uh, they're part of a natural system, and the, the whole thing is to really just control them. If I see an earwig or two on a leaf, I'm not really that concerned. Um, that's, that's okay. You know, what I don't want to see is a plant that is completely decimated. We had, um, we had a honeysuckle that was literally brought all the way down to, um, to the roots. Um, by earwigs, they 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 completely defoli def defoliated, defoliated the entire honeysuckle, and um, basically it's still alive. It's gonna come up again, but it's um, <coughs> you know it just takes a lot of time. You know it's got to basically start from scratch all over again. So you know, and if you're trying to if you're trying to have a nice looking garden, you know, so it's it's about creating balance by creating balance. So you want um, you want to create places that will make it so that spiders will want to move in, other predatory insects will want to move in. Um, and, uh, and so that's that's the key, you know. So you gotta you gotta keep putting your mind to it, you know, you gotta keep thinking, well what is a forest floor like? What is what is happening in a natural system? Um, and it, it'll take a while. It'll take a while. It's uh, it, it's funny because you can have two two thoughts that are disconnected from each other, um, but it's when you put them together that's when you realize. It's it's when you have that moment. So like I, for example, know that spiders love to house themselves around logs. I've known that for a long time. Um, I also know that uh, spiders will go after earwigs. Um, I've seen many examples of that in this garden where. Uh, I've come across uh, old spider webs that are just full of like earwig uh, bodies. Um, 
So I've, I've known that for a long time, but for some reason this whole thing with, uh, with placing the logs around the trees and all the different plants. I mean, we have roses. The earwigs love roses. So um, you could do the same thing. Just place a bunch of logs around it. It's a really simple solution, and it will really do a lot to control uh, the numbers. So this is Jesse with Closing the Loop. Hope you enjoyed the information. Uh, please like, share the information with other people, um, and um, we'll talk later. Take care. Bye.